Welcome back to Pet Talks. Thank you for joining me. My name is Dr. Guy Sandolovsky, and I am a small animal veterinary surgeon. I'm going to talk to you today about nutrition and about food intolerances or allergies. Lots and lots of clients ask me how to work out whether their dog is allergic to something in their diet, like chicken or fish or wheat or anything else. The answer is allergy testing is probably the most accurate way to work out if your dog truly has an allergy to one of those components. Not all vets offer this service. It can be really expensive. And in many cases, your dog will end up being allergic to lots and lots of things and it's hard to pinpoint exactly what's causing any clinical signs, if there are any. So what do you need to look for as other clues to work out if your dog might be allergic to something in their food? Well, one of the most common presentations we see in the clinic is when dogs develop problems with their skin. So they might get kind of red, itchy patches on their back, maybe around their face, their muzzle, possibly in their ears, or even the skin between their toes can get really inflamed and itchy and you often see them licking, chewing and gnawing at these areas. You may also notice that your dog has tummy upsets if they're eating something that they have an intolerance to or that they're allergic to. And you may notice that they have runny stools, so diarrhea, or maybe even some vomiting. Once you've treated for skin parasites like fleas, then you might start to wonder if there's something else that's causing these allergies and food is really high up there on the list. So what do you do if you think your dog might be allergic to something that they're eating? Well, I would advise you to look for a hypoallergenic diet. This sounds fancy, but it's not. It's basically food that contains specific proteins that tend not to trigger allergies in dogs. And one method in which this is achieved is via hydrolysis. So certain proteins like chicken, for example, might be hydrolyzed so that when your dog eats the chicken in the dog food, it doesn't trigger the immune response. These days, we're seeing lots and lots of new pet foods come into the market. For example, we're seeing insect protein dog food. We're even seeing plant-based dog food diets. Some of these, as long as they're vet approved and vet formulated, may be an excellent alternative to what you're currently feeding your dog because they'll often not have those proteins that are causing allergic issues for your dog. That's today's talk. It's a brief one. I hope it helps and that you found it interesting. Please feel free to follow me on Instagram at the underscore dog underscore doctor. And I really look forward to seeing you very soon.